Stacy, Ryan, hey, congratulations on the second season of The Ark. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It's actually kind of funny because uh, just for Ryan uh, doing this interview, it's already a spoiler, isn't it, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, uh, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I could just be here to tag along. I, you know, I could just add, add nothing sure. else to do. So I'm just <laughs> chilling out. <laughs> I know it, 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 it's it's all it's all good uh, these interviews are published after the embargo anyway so um last time I spoke to uh both of you uh you know the arc was your your first major project now this is uh going into a sophomore season how do you feel overall about this experience wow say ladies first hey <laughs> Um, honestly, it's nothing I've ever experienced before in my life. Like, it's, it's amazing to even have an experience like this, to do this as my job. And the fact that we got to come back, it's, you know, it's not just a show. We've made real friendships in real life. So getting to see everyone again and, you know, getting to see the crew and getting to travel all the way to Serbia, it was it was really lovely to do and revisit these characters and see what new parts and like what new growth the character can do this season. It was, yeah, it was really, really fun to do. Yeah. yeah I think cause it is a cast from all around the world. We like some, some people in this cast, we will like probably barely ever see unless we're doing like something to do with the arc. So that's really nice. Like, like Stacy said to, to see the family again, that was really cool. But yeah, to revisit characters, it's not something either me or Stacy have done before to revisit a character. Um, yeah, so that was also really cool. Most excellent. And this show has such a very loyal, dedicated fan base. Mm -hmm. So we want to hear it from you. What do you think is the secret to success for the arc? Oh my gosh, wow, what a question. Um, I'm not sure. I think... I think what I will say, my my sister absolutely loves the show. Um, and she is not a sci-fi fan at all. Like she she would never watch the show if, if I wasn't in it, probably. But when watching it, um, she she said to me she found it a very uh a very much a comfort watch, which I found really nice. Uh, and I know what she means. You do, you do, you know, I feel like it's the type of show where, you know, you've had a hard day at work or something, you come back, you put this show on. Um, these are characters that are likable and, 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 you know, there's a lot of characters. So I'm sure maybe you might see yourself in at least one of them. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. There's, there's a lot of reasons. Do you see? Yeah. No, um, I guess like what Ryan said, it, you know, there's Dean and Jonathan have done an amazing job creating this. And I think what they do so well is it's not just about all the things that happen within the episode. You know, it's not just about, you know, them surviving another <laughs> thing that goes wrong. But what they've done is they've created characters that go through these experiences. And I think like Ryan said, people watch these characters and maybe you might relate to one of them. And I think they love to follow those storylines and see these characters grow. Like I've had some really lovely messages from people that have told me that they relate to Alicia. And I was just like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, yeah, it's really nice to see that. It's all, it's always great to uh, get the, the, the fan feedback. But, you know, inquiring minds want to know it's the relationship between Angus and Alicia. Is it official? Is it unofficial? Where is it going? Do you guys hope they get together? <laughs> what's what's going on? Spill the beans. Uh, it's it's a little gray area. It's a it's a bit of a situation ship. No, um, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Was that sorry? I said that. Um, no, I, it's 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 like it's very much in an area of like they both want it so bad. Um, like we could see at the end of season one that it's definitely something that both of them, they both like each other, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. But with what's just happened with Angus, he's not in a state to, to, you know, go, go and get a girlfriend or go and, 
you know, try and find a relationship or something, Alicia is busy running the ship, basically. So it's like it's it's very much about how how do how do they find each other again, really? They should give us Alicia's perspective. Um I'd say it's a bit similar. Like the only difference is Alicia, she knows how she feels about Angus. It's very clear after season one. And I think, you know, seeing Angus almost die, that definitely elevates the feelings that she has and she wants to express them a lot more. But, you know, things do get in the way. So it'll be nice for you guys to see how they work that out. <laughs> It's the same. It's the same with 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 Angus. Like with with his very very near death experience. It is literally like, I really don't want to waste any more time with this. I really like this girl, but I'm sort of on my deathbed right now. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. most excellent. Well, let, let let me leave with uh, one last thought. Give us a little bit of preview um, for uh, both Alicia and Angus uh, for for the rest of the season and and the challenges they. They would actually partake because Ryan, I imagine your character is bedridden, but eventually will get out. Yeah, yeah, he he's he's on the he's on the recovery, and he re re recovers. He's recovering a lot faster than the average person would because of the because of the blood from Kelly. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. That I think that's a good enough answer. The fact that like I've just said that, but everything past his recovery, I don't want to say. I think is very it's very exciting what what happens to Angus, and I just really can't wait to see everyone's reaction. Stacy. Yeah, no, I can't wait for you guys to all see it. I think what I really love is when I get onto Twitter and I start seeing all these theories, you know, come up um, that the fans have thought of. So I don't really want to say too much because I want to read all those theories and see if they get it right or not. <laughs> yeah. Well said. I guess we'll just have to, uh, you know, wait and see and watch these episodes. So Ryan, Stacy, thank you for uh, very much uh, for speaking to us again about uh, the arc and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much, you. man. Good to see you. Thank you.